And influencers and all nodes, all networkers have social capital. Social capital are the resources we have through our connections. And uh, we have two, two aspects of social capital. The first one is bridging social capital, which are weak ties, those individuals with whom relationships are based on superficial experiences or few connections. Uh, typically, our Facebook friends are mostly bridging social capitals. I think I have something like 500 Facebook friends. Uh, I would say that 99% uh, yeah, are bridging social capitals, weak ties of people which I loosely know or perhaps even don't even know. And you have bond bonding social capitals, which are the core ties, those people which are our friends or relatives with whom we have very close relationships. And these are the one person of friends we have on Facebook or in our real world, uh, our family, our parents, our aunts and uncles, our friends with which we have very strong relationships. And in every social community, you can identify this capital. We have bridging capital, loose relationships and bonding capital, which are close relationships. And both are important. And if you come back to social media management, yeah, bridging capital is more important than social media management because the more people have loose relationships, the more they share info, can share information to others, and the higher will be the impact of our viral marketing campaign. Today, people are doing positive uh, reviews by social sharing on Facebook with more bridging capital, and they can share. Uh, for example, in my case, uh, if I want to do a positive review, I can share my, my positive review or negative review with more than 500 people who can, on the other hand, again, share, and that is why the message, the news can spread very easily and very quickly to a large number of people in the social network.